you, Tim is Brian Phillips. Top flight, 450 millimeter P51. Amazing, flies on one ass. 400 milliamp hour pack included in this case because we have a ready to fly. We're gonna start in beginner mode. We may actually have some trouble getting it to take off because this is all the way up, all the way down. Here we go. Hey, there we go. We did have to full disclosure, make an adjustment to the elevator. We were having trouble with it not getting the nose off the ground. So we just kind of squeezed the U-bolt or the U-bend. So that we could get the elevator into the proper position so that it would pull up. So I noticed the flight controls on this are a little bit different than what we've seen on the 400 millimeter Warbirds. There's definitely a little bit more wonk going on, but you can definitely get the thing to fly. I wanna try a couple of wheels up, wheels down. We're gonna take the gear off and show you what it looks like. Easily removable and replaceable prop, which is super, super cool. And we definitely have had pretty good experience with that so far with this plane. They pop on and off easy pretty much what you come to expect from the 400 millimeter Warbird series, except this one's a little bit bigger. It's about 10% larger, of course. And that makes a difference in flight characteristics. And it definitely makes a difference in looks because they can get the details more scale. It is a little bit hard not to hit the nose on landing. They do provide a spare prop. We got ours with one battery and ours did not come with the available DSM and S bus plug yours will okay it'll go right there if you decide to use it so that's pretty cool also a big battery opening on the top but we don't actually use the battery opening on the top for our battery on this plane and so i thought to myself self if you wanted you could potentially put a bigger battery in there except you're going to throw your cg landing gear do come off real quick real easy and I think you're gonna like the looks of this plane is probably one of the best things you're gonna like. It is an absolute looker. It's got all the scale lines that you're expecting from a P51 and none of the hassle of a bigger option. But I'm gonna definitely tell you this, if you're a brand new beginner flying this plane, you may find it's a little bit challenging because you really do have to get in there and you have to control it. It does not fly itself as good as some other planes that we've flown. And I'm hoping that that gets corrected with a new style board that has the S-Bus and DSM input. Now, that being said, the flight controller does automatically level the plane. So when I let go, it auto levels. Okay, so as you can see, but as you remember me saying just a few seconds ago, I did have to adjust the elevator so that the elevator was bent and pushed the nose off the ground. If you're just gonna hand launch, that's not a big problem. You will find yourself in circumstances where this thing doesn't wanna veer at the last second. And so you have to make sure you give yourself a very wide berth, okay? I just went to the inner, intermediate mode, not beginner mode. And so what that does for us is it opens up some of the limits, not the least of which is, I believe, roll. Okay, so you can actually flip it upside down, which is nice. And then the aerobatic button, so I'm gonna press. There's an automatic roll. So you press the aerobatic one-touch button and then you press the direction you want it to roll. So just like that, that was a left stick on the ailerons. We're gonna try that again, except the other way now. Okay, so going real fast. And that's a right one, okay? It just tries to pick up the heading where it left off. Now we're gonna do it with a loop, okay? So we're gonna get some speed up, point the nose down, pull back. There it is, kind of executes the flip stupidly. And as you can see, that barn swallow was protecting territory. In intermediate, it's nice because you can flip the plane but that's really sort of like this ambiguous flip. It's not gonna actually let you have full control to roll the thing upside down with the added benefit of auto leveling, okay? You have to actually, you have to actually fly this thing. Then when you go to intermediate, or excuse me, when you go to advanced mode, it's just all hell breaks loose, ready? There you go. So get ready to be on the elevator, like full time, 
You got to use every flight control. There's no stabilization. It's just like basically no man's land. And I can tell you this, that where the battery is, you would need to have an even bigger battery to probably appropriately control that CG and get you where you need to be. So just remember, if you fly this plane and you're expecting some amazing aerobatic experience and some super controllable plane, just duck. And I'm serious guys, this plane actually looks amazing for its size, it's cheap, it does the job. Is it gonna teach you to fly? It's gonna teach you a lot of bad habits because it is not like flying safe equipped. And yes, I did manage to hit that exactly square on. So we'll see if we broke the prop. So let's be clear, is this thing beautiful? Yes. Is it good flying? Sort of. Is it easy to fly? Not really. Could it be better? Yes, a lot. Where'd my prop go? Oh, on the ground, look at this. So yes, yeah, so we hit one of our, our first, you're welcome to the club, cherry tree. Good job. You'll be killing more trees in the near future, I promise you. And uh, just to let you know, this plane is a little bit less resilient than the smaller because it's a little bit stiffer, but that does lead to slightly better flight performance in certain arenas. Although the flight controller is where everything goes sideways. I think our new flight controller is gonna make a big difference. And for that reason, we're gonna leave it at that and let you guys decide. If you wanna buy one, check it out in the links down below in the video description below. I'm not gonna see the praises of mediocrity, but I will tell you this, there are price points and mediocrity sometimes comes disguised as cheap, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. If you want a better UMX, better ones exist. If you want a smaller one, smaller ones exist. If you want a bigger one, bigger ones exist. That's where I'm gonna leave it, unbox next. Stay tuned, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to smash the like button and buy stuff from the links or support us on Patreon, PayPal. Super thanks, members, and pay Patreon. Mm -hmm. Did I say them all? Yep. Okay, all right guys, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. YouTube, we have box. You're never gonna know what we're gonna do, except we're gonna open it right now. And it's gonna be amazing. Did it just come in a garbage see. bag? It did not come in a garbage bag, although this one is taped all the way around. Yes. I think you guys are gonna like this. Oh yeah. It's the Mini P51 from Top RC. Amazing. Okay, let's see how this thing does. Because we've done a lot of mini a minis, and sometimes they're pretty awesome, and sometimes they're kind of like floppish. Okay? So it looks like there's two styles. two styles. This one or this one. Okay. Two different liveries. It looks like, which one did we get? Uh, how do we tell? We got the blue one, okay. So the blue one, which is pretty cool, looks a little bit like that one. Kind of cool. If you mm -hmm. decide you like this, and you want to move your way up to that, but you don't quite have the budget for the uh, 1.2 meter. Let's unbox this thing right now. Oh, full disclosure, this one is an early release, and they have one additional change for you. If you order this now, you'll have a DSM and S-Bus plug, which we will show in another video shortly so you know how to set it up, but we won't be able to show you on this one because ours came so early that it didn't have the feature installed yet. It's an upgraded motherboard. So anyway, without further ado, we're gonna show you how ours did come and you'll see how it looks. Now this is a little bit bigger than some of the other mini Warbirds we've seen in the past in that this one is 450 millimeters. Doesn't seem like much, but it is approximately 10% bigger. So it makes a difference, folks. And I gotta say, from the bottom, it looks good. Oh yeah. Let's untape this thing here. It really does actually look a lot nicer. A lot more detail. Just from the bottom even. Hmm. It almost looks like the UMX lineup. Oh yeah, that does look way nicer. I didn't think it'd make a difference at all, but it like totally looks better. Look at the lines on that. That's actually gorgeous. Ah, okay. I like being wrong once in a while when it's to my advantage because look how sweet that is. Even the sideline looks good. Look at this, it's so gorgeous. So if you're a P51 fan, you'll love this. It's also got the poppy offy style. Even though it's got the big spinner, it's still got the regular poppy on, poppy off style prop. Okay, so we're gonna continue. Sorry, got distracted by its beautiful looks. Camera code news all about that. 
<laughs> okay, so real quick, we were talking about the beautiful spinner and prop. This one comes with the entire assembly, which is super nice. Now you can take that apart and you can go without the spinner if you want, but it'll make your plane look pretty ugly. And so just to be clear, these things are pretty good about protecting the prop, but if you're running full bore into your garage door, you will almost certainly break it. Just ask me how I know. I was gonna say, do you have experience with that? Well, I know, you know a person that, that did it oh. here. And his name is my and son. start with, oh yeah. Which one, I think they both done it. Well, I've done it too, but that's okay. <laughs> I did it on purpose. They did it on accident. Okay, so let's get right to it, guys. We gotta get the battery charging because I wanna fly this thing bad. And our weather window was pretty crappy this, this day. This day. This day. Okay, so we have one of these 2S chargers with, actually, no, that's a 1S charger, okay. Squishy tires, grab the tires and squish, please. Squish, yes, yep. squishy. Squish this pair. Well, Do you like a, that? It's kind of a little pair. Yes, it is. Makes me feel very good about myself. We're just gonna slide these in right now and they snap, beautiful. Let's see if they look short, stubby, and ugly. Eh. They're getting there. Now this is not a steerable tailwheel, but it's darn close to being. <gasps> Hold on a second, is it? No, it's not. Dang it, where the heck does this go? Does it go there? No. I honestly, oh, it goes there. Okay, it goes in the opening. I'm sorry guys, I didn't think there was an opening there for it, but there is. It goes this way. Work a little harder to find the hole. Yeah. Okay. So now these are supposed to be a little bit thicker than the smaller offering. So that's gonna give you more stout stand, which means ground or wheels up, wheels down ops should be better. And in true Chinese style, they have hidden one of the batteries inside to call it integral to the uh, customs agent. And this is a 400 milliamp one hmm. S, weird. Okay, so charger that's provided looks like this. You have to provide your own. You have to provide your own USB power supply, which we'll grab right now. Looks a little something like this, okay? So you plug it in like that, and then you plug it in to your adapter or your wall outlet here. You got a green light, whoops, I'll flip it around. Green light, and then your battery gets plugged in here. It is keyed, so it only goes one way and it turns red until it's done. Mm -hmm. We prefer the Christmas colors because Christmas colors are better than the ones that don't give you a positive. Weird flashing. Yeah, they give you like wins. weird flashing and yep. then you never know, does the flashing mean it's going or stopping? Yep. Okay. So this is what I do with my planes. P51, top RC, 450 millimeter. Okay? Perfect. Do you know why I do that? Because we only have one of those. <laughs> yeah, oh, and the other thing too is I usually grab this and I will mark the transmitter, which is next. So this is charging. Just to give you an idea of what type of charge it came with. We'll take a voltage alarm, look at the polarity, study, and plug it in. You can't actually plug those in. They don't beep very loud. Okay. 4.06, so it's not too bad. Now, if you don't wanna use the provided charger, I'm gonna show you what the Spectrum Micro LiPo charger will look like. It's got the Molex JST Micro PH 2.0 and then UM, as in UMX, that's Micro PH, okay? So we're gonna throw this in here. And the way this works is you type in by pressing and holding, then you can set your charge rate to 0.4 amps. This is 400 milliamp hours. So this is in, expressed in the terms of amps, okay? And the reason they do that is because if it was milliamp hours, you wouldn't have enough numbers to display. Then you press, it starts charging, and it goes a little bit quicker. Or actually, it should be going about the same speed as this. And usually you can tell how fast these are gonna charge, except this doesn't have anything in terms of an expression of the input and output. So we're just gonna go with this to make it a little quicker because we need to fly bad. Okay, now let's talk about the transmitter. The transmitter itself, this is a ready to fly option. You can get this in a bind and fly, if I remember right. Ooh, I'm yeah. not actually sure. Let's just say you can. And if you can't, check the link in the video description below, you'll see for sure. But what I wanna talk about is real quick, this is a basic controller. I'm gonna go over here, we'll mark it. 
basically whenever we get these things, we end up with a million of them. And so we mark them. Now, some of you would think just get an open TX transmitter and you can bind it up. I think it's a 761, something like that protocol, but don't mark my words on that. So this is the P51 top RC. And this is the 450 millimeter. Okay. Now they've got this handy dandy little screw here that we need to actually open up so we can get the batteries loaded into our new transmitter here. So grab myself a Phillips screw driver. We'll go ahead and pop this out and show you what it looks like in here. Should take a total of four double A's. And they are guano mix, Gua guanig max. Guano, you might want to read. Gu guanig, guan, geoneg max. I don't think I'd even try. I don't, somebody in China needs to talk to somebody who speaks English once, please, because it's embarrassing. So apparently the included batteries is like a thing. It's a thing. Now I gotta say folks, if you're gonna include something, that is much appreciated. That's better than a keychain. It's better than a lot of things because yeah. here at the end of the day, I gotta admit, to me, that's value. That means I don't have to go out and spend like $3.99 on batteries. However, I don't wanna spend money to ship double A's from China. So I don't know if that's just a function of the early samples or what the deal is. But as you can see, when you turn on the transmitter, it is definitely coming on. So pretty cool. Oh, and it did come with a screwdriver. My apologies, I could have used a provided screwdriver. I kind of forgot about it because it blended into our screwdriver. Wonderfully chosen. Screwdriver uh, camouflaged. camouflaged. Yeah. You know, cause we knew we were gonna do RC reviews. We wanted to hide the mess. Yes. Literally. Okay, so there is a lanyard attachment point here. I just noticed that now. And it's also nice because it says expert, mid and beginner. And then pressing aerobatics followed by down. We'll do a loop pressing the aerobatics and then roll left. It'll roll left into an, uh, an basically a barrel roll. And if you press the aerobatics and go like this, it'll do a, a barrel roll to the right. So we also have throttle, rudder, and you arm by going all the way up and all the way down. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off, make sure it's unarmed. And then there is also a one touch U-turn. I don't even talk about it because I don't believe in it. It's the stupidest feature I've ever seen in my life. You take off one direction and presumably it will turn around this way. That's it. Well, what if you lose track of it over there? Well, then it's going to go further away from you because it's going to turn around and keep going. Further it's a away stupid from you. feature. Yeah, it, don't it, it, it has Just no don't place. Plan on it. This thing doesn't have a GPS receiver in it. Um, if anything, it's a marketing gimmick to catch somebody off guard. What we do on Brian Phillips RC is, is exactly the opposite. We take the marketing gimmicks, we crumple them up into the ball of turd that they should be, and then we fling them at each other for fun off camera. Just like the monkeys you've seen at the zoo. <laughs> and we tell you the truth. Okay, so if this thing sucks big donkey balls, we'll tell you about it shortly. But we don't have our future ball working. Our crystal ball has been broken for some time, which is, which is why I still have to work for money and I didn't buy more GameStock stock. So anyway, all I'm gonna say is this, I'm gonna put a battery in this and we're gonna go outside because we have a battery from a previously reviewed uh, P47, which you guys have not seen. And it's the exact same size from the exact same manufacturer. It's about a week older. So if you guys <laughs> see that video and you're like, what the heck is going on? I feel like I'm in a time machine. What's going on? My mind's about to blow up. Don't worry, just relax. We'll help you out. Now, the other thing too is, if you'd prefer to fly your plane, on your NX-10, because I know if you're watching Brian Phillips RC, you're probably familiar with the Spectrum transmitters, DSMX and the like. We'll show you how to do that on the P47, and it should be the same exact uh, setup as what you would have here. The only difference, of course, is I didn't figure out how to get inside, but it looks pretty easy on this one, okay? So there should be a series of three additional plugs down here, and those are, excuse me, two additional plugs, one of which is going to be a plug for DSM, one of which will be, uh, is it FHSS? I thought it was SBUS. SBUS, SBUS, yeah. yeah. And then of course, it already integrates OpenTX. So OpenTX multi-protocol. So if you guys wanna use multi-protocol, you can do that. Or you can just use a provided transmitter, which is nice because it's easy. And if you're brand new to the hobby, you probably don't already have something like this. 
and you won't necessarily have a preference for this versus that versus this. Let me tell you something though. If you are getting into that preference stuff, trust me, when you're new, you're gonna want something that you can get help for and we are here to help you with it. We won't help you with OpenTX because it's too frustrating for me and so I can't do it. It's already frustrating enough using this. And we go through that frustration here on Brian Phillips RC on a day by day basis. We've done how many videos this year? Uh, 71. 71 videos this year and we'll it's do more. We'll probably July. do 150 this year. So yeah, it's well, we're just getting into July, yeah. July 2nd. So yep. we've done half the year. So 140, 150 videos would not be unexpected this year. And we do it because we want to help grow this hobby. We want to help prevent one and dones, which is when people buy this plane here, Super right cool. here, instead of this plane yep. here, not okay? Plane. When you're ready for this plane, which by the way, there's nothing wrong with this plane. It is absolutely cool. Or this, this, or they, or they're like, I really like a P51, but my mom said that they would buy me, after I get my Bugatti delivered, they would buy me this <laughs> M4, <laughs> except you don't know how to fly. Yeah, that's fine, but my mom will pay to re repair it. Well, could she like even you even you on? need to practice yeah. okay you can't buy the skill well i mean you can rent me <laughs> just kidding but seriously though you can't you can't buy the skill you have to learn to do it so that means you have to pay your dues and fly the simpler planes now that doesn't necessarily mean this one's going to be a good fit for you and that's the other reason why we do this channel is for people that are coming back to the hobby that have been on a hiatus because they had kids that you know, we're young and having soccer practice and different things that like distract from important things like models. <laughs> or if you had like a wife and things like that, now you don't. <laughs> and so you've got some uh, spare time. Hopefully I'm not striking a chord too many times with that last comment. But anyway, we love these airplanes. And yes, that's my wife on the other side of the camera. She did not hit me yet. <laughs> But we're going to fly this right now, and we know you guys will love it, and we know you'll be back to support us more. Now, how can you support us if you just absolutely hate this thing, and you think it's the ugliest thing ever? Which, by the way, I must say, in terms of small planes, I love, I love that they got the dihedral right. I love that the lines are right. And yes, we have seen other 400 millimeter warbirds in the past that are very good, and they are not near as scale looking, okay? So just to give you an idea, I mean, this is, this is a, a pretty big difference in size, folks. That's like, that's a big difference in size, okay? Now, I do wanna point out one thing too. When you get the feature for the DSMX, you do have to provide your own satellite receiver, okay? So if you're not gonna use OpenTX, which to be honest with you, if you guys know, there used to be a serial adapter that you could put on the back of here that would go in here and it would actually act as an any bus or not an any bus. What did they call that? They called it a multi-protocol adapter. I can't remember what they called that thing, but I would like to investigate it. So if you know about it, let, let me know in the comments below. I forget what they call it and I don't know if it works with the NX yet, uh, but I would like to get something like that because it is nice to have the access to open TX without having to actually use like a radio master or a jumper. Um, Cause I actually technically have a jumper T8SG and I just don't like it. Uh, it's way too hard for me to, to learn both systems. There's too many complexities, um, just idiosyncrasies between Spectrum and OpenTX. And OpenTX is already pretty clunky as it is, if you ask me. However, I've heard that Radio Master does a really good job. FR Sky does a really good job over here. And so I, I don't mean to poo poo what I don't know anything about. I'm just telling you about my personal experience. Okay, and no, I'm not trying to just sell these, although I am. So if you want one of these, follow the link. You'll help support us financially. But at the end of the day, that is what we do here is we help bring you guys information that's actionable so you can make a good decision about this plane or another plane. So we hope you enjoyed the content. If you haven't already, smash the like button. That does help us a lot on the algorithm. Long format videos get crushed by YouTube. They want us to sink down to the bottom of the ocean next to the Titanic on an exploration mission. They want us to do that in an unvetted sub, one that hasn't gone through any sort of testing. That sounds like a great idea for $250,000 a head. Anyway, I'm just saying they want us to do that, which sounds awesome actually. But anyway, I'm gonna, we're gonna resist the temptation to do that. And we're just gonna say, listen, if you wanna see shorts and you're like in there pooping and you're like three hours later, you're like, wow, I could have watched one Brian Phillips RC video. True, you could, or you could have watched 4,000 shorts. The thing is, in shorts, what do you really learn? You're like, hey, I know how to like level these two boards up. Look at this. this. This guy showed me. It was really helpful. Okay, great. I get it. 
I do the same thing. It's very important that you get that stuff taken care of and you learn while you're doing it. But if you wanna help support a channel that actually brings you some real content like Brian Phillips RC, then you're in that right place. And the only way you can do that is to smash the like button and actually watch the videos when they come out. And maybe every once in a while, like actually watch the whole thing. I know that's impossible for most of you, but for you prisoners, you loyal prisoners that are watching from the Polk County Jail and all the other county jails across the country, we appreciate you guys. You're our best clients. So put down that shank and pick up the mouse and order one of these things and just make sure you pay off your jailer so that you can get it through the gates. I mean, these are small packages. They should pass yeah. right through. You don't even need to put it into any plastic bags before you insert it. This comes off. <laughs> so anyway, on that extremely high note, uh, if you want to support us in other ways, you can also send us money directly, which is weird, through PayPal, friends and family, um, PayPal support, uh, donations, and then there's also Patreon, which is monthly. And then there's new members through YouTube. And that is something that we don't know much about yet. Uh, and then there's Super Thanks, which is really nice. But really the best thing to do is to buy these amazing planes through our links. And don't tell me about where you can find it cheaper because they're not helping you and we are. But if they are giving it to you if you're cheaper, please do let me know in a private email and I'll reach out to those people and say, what the heck, let me know how to do this. Because really we want you guys to get the best deal and we want you to get the best stuff. So we just, we're only two people, you know, like there's only so many things we knew. We're trying our best. Yep. We want you to get the most bang for your buck in the RC experience. But I'm gonna tell you the best thing you can do is, is you know, like let's say somebody's offering this for like five bucks less, okay? Let's talk about five bucks real quick, five bucks. How fast is five bucks gone? Like that, it's gone instantly. Like you didn't even spend it, it's just gone. So inflation, during this video, you lost $5 just sitting here. So shame on me. But anyway, what I'm saying is, if you help us by getting it from our link, it really does help us. And that's what happens is that we have planes like this that are a little bit more expensive. Um, we have planes like this that are a lot cheaper. We have helicopters like that that are quite expensive with receivers that are quite expensive as well. And then we have literally everything in between. You know, like this helicopter here, for instance, is quite expensive, but then we have helicopters that are considerably less expensive. We were trying to hit all the price points because we know not everybody could go out and drop a thousand bucks on an airplane. Okay, as much as we would, we would love that everybody would just go do that, that's fine. We understand that's not possible. And, and it might not be a good fit for you and your skills. Right, and everybody has to start somewhere. You that's don't right. start with this or a, a turbine jet or something. You yeah. start with that. You start with this or something like it. Yeah. Or something, something, you know, high wing trainer. I mean, this might not even be a great one. We don't know, we haven't found right, it we don't yet. Know yet. We will in a few minutes, which for you started out this video. And also, we just wanna remind you one other thing too. The best thing you can do if you wanna really support our channel is just watch the videos through and then smash the like button and come back and do it all the time. And then once in a while, you're gonna see a video that's like, I can't live without that F-15. I can't live without that T-28. I can't live without that Viper jet, whatever it is. And when something strikes a chord, buy that thing for the link. Tell your friends about it. Get on Facebook and say, hey, I met this guy. He's, he's goofy. He's gonna help you figure out how to fly and uh, he's gonna help you not have a bad experience because having a bad experience on the first point of entry is usually what makes things difficult for everybody. So anyway, in that, with that, we're gonna wrap up and just let you know we really appreciate you. World's best audience on YouTube. If you stayed through the duration of this whole video, you get a gold star. I don't know exactly how that works, but here it is. Yeah. Stick it on your chest and we will see you guys on the next go around, which is not very far around the corner. I promise you, we have so much stuff, we can't fit it into our living room. Stay tuned.